Hey guys, for this week's Tech Tuesday, I wanted to do a video demonstration of the new uh, fluid containment cap that I've designed for the second generation Vortex Reservoirs that just got recently released. Um, and this cap is also interchangeable with those of you that have PSC uh, steering reservoirs. You can get just this cap by itself to retrofit and upgrade your existing reservoir. Now, how does it work? Well, this cap actually acts a little bit like a P-trap. So externally, it looks very similar to the PSC cap where we've got a uh, NPT vent port right here in the center. But underneath, there's actually a, uh, an offset opening. And if we take the bottom cover off of this reservoir cap, you can see that there's a flow path that's machined around the perimeter of the cap. In the center where the actual vent port is, there's a rollover uh, check ball. So anything over 90 degrees off camber and that ball is going to drop down and block off the vent port. So if you flop or roll over your, uh, your rock crawler, you're not going to be pouring oil out of your steering system. Now that perimeter flow channel acts like a P-trap. Um, reservoirs are nice because they're tall, narrow cylinders. So if the, uh, the car, if your rock crawler is doing a hill climb or your rock bouncer, and you're anywhere from vertically upright to 90 degrees off camber, that means that the highest point in the reservoir is going to be somewhere along the perimeter of this cap. Now this reservoir here, this is one of the new second gen Vortex reservoirs, and I've currently got this filled with oil. Um, you can see that it's, it's filled about three quarters of an inch below the, the bottom of the cap threads. And if I put the cap on here, Right now, if I go to tip this over on its side, considering how full this reservoir is of oil, the, uh, the fill level is probably submerging where that vent port would be, especially if I approach 90 degrees before it actually triggers the shutoff valve, the, uh, the rollover valve to close. Um, and I can roll this in any orientation because of that P-trap design in the cap. There's no oil that's exiting that vent port. I can even turn this thing upside down and now that rollover valve has closed the vent and so there's, there's no oil that will escape the system. Now there is no trick photography here. This isn't a special sealed cap that I'm just using for uh, demonstration. If I actually try to shake the rollover valve open, you can see that there's a little bit of oil that will drip down. Um, so this actually, this, this cap does breathe, but you can see how well it's actually retaining oil. This is compared to my competitor's cap, which has a vent port straight through the center of it, uh, just drilled and tapped straight through. And let's even take a PSC reservoir and we're gonna pour some oil in it. We're gonna transfer, transfer this oil over. Now you can see that right now there's some oil that was flooded into the, uh, the trap passages in this cap, and that's perfectly fine. Um, that's inevitably gonna happen, but we're keeping it in a place where it's not going to exit the vent port, um, unless a very specific circumstance, in which case you probably would have been releasing a little bit of oil anyway. So we're gonna pour this in. So this reservoir maybe has a little bit more headspace. I'd say we've got about an inch between the fill level and the bottom of the threads. And if I go ahead and put the original cap on here and seal it up good, all I have to do is get this pretty well off camber and <laughs> we can see that uh, when, it, when it bounces around a little bit, it's it's going to spray some oil out of here. If we roll over, now it's just going to be pouring oil. Um, and so it's obviously not an ideal situation. That, uh, that oily mess is now going to be all over your engine bay. And um, if you're using a remote pressure valve, it's very likely that that's going to create a bit of a mist all over, you know, make an oily mess all over everything. So let's set that to the side grab our uh, fluid containment lid again. And 
then since it's interchangeable, this one will thread right in. Here, let me wipe it up so we have a dry cap to start for demonstration. <clears throat> okay, now let's try to do that same thing. And if I tip it upside down, once again, it's um, not going to release anything upright. Any oil that was trapped up there in those trap passages, well, that's for the most part going to drain back down into the reservoir. And of course, you can just continue on your way on the trail all day. And again, this is not a trick cap. If I really try, I can open up that rollover valve while it's upside down just by shaking it violently. And there's, there's a bit of oil that's dripping out of there. So again, this is not a trick cap. Um, and so yeah, that is the fluid containment cap. Now, um, reservoir pressure, this cap is strictly vented, so reservoir pressure will have to be accomplished with an external remote valve. Keep your eyes out in the next couple days for that because I'll be releasing my new remote uh, reservoir breather valve. And um, yeah, that will be available next week. So uh, those of you that are going to be at the Pennsylvania Ultra 4 race this weekend, I hope to see you all there. Everybody else, hope you have a great weekend. And uh, geez, weekend, it's Tuesday. Have a good week. Get shit done. See you later.